But for now, I guess I'll stick to the North Devon pastures. See you next week. Join Alan next week as he tries to relocate two city birds to the Irish countryside. Before we move to semi-cup action with live coverage of England versus Sweden, let's look at this archival public service announcement on how to use YouTube shorts from Lewis McGregor. Hey, how you doing guys? Lewis here with Filippo and today we're going to be running over the core basics of using YouTube shorts. Now if you're a filmmaker like myself, you may have been somewhat hesitant to join the likes of Instagram Reels, TikTok, but if you already have a platform on YouTube, then this is a great way to share bite-sized content of your already established filmmaking content in order to maximize your audience engagement as well as possibly get a few new subscribers. So let's dive into it. Aching into TikTok and Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts offers vertical videos that are 60 seconds or less, providing a simple way to share content. Get started, you need to make sure that you have the YouTube app on your mobile device, not the YouTube Studio app which is where you manage videos, upload videos, check out your analytics, and it would make a lot more sense for it to be on that app, but instead it is in the native YouTube app. And this is because they want you to inherently make videos on the fly like TikTok or like Instagram Reels. To get started with creating a short, simply tap the Create button and then select Create Short. To record a clip, press and hold the Capture button or tap it to start and stop recording. You can use undo to remove the previous video clip or redo to add it back. Additionally, you have the option to adjust recording speed and set a countdown timer if filming by yourself. And you can preview the short by tapping next and here you can add music or text to your creation. And for text, you can use the timeline to control where it appears and where it disappears. And don't forget to add details like the title, the visibility, and of course, consider using hashtags to enhance the discoverability. If you already have a pre-made video under 60 seconds and in the vertical format, then simply go down to the album folder icon, find the video from your photo library, and then add it to the reel. Now, it's not all done through the mobile device. If you would prefer to upload directly through the creator dashboard on a browser, then you can do so as well. However, you do have to acknowledge that it does need to be under a minute in length and in the nine by 16 resolution format. Because if you do upload, as some people do, in a 16 by nine horizontal format with the hopes that people will rotate their phone, YouTube may not recognize that this is a short. However, you can include shorts in the YouTube hashtag, which may help the system identify it. However, for most of the time, I would recommend in nine by 16. YouTube shorts have a separate viewing experience and viewers can find them in the dedicated shorts tab on the YouTube homepage or on the featured section on your channel homepage. Now creating shorts should not significantly impact the performance of your regular YouTube videos and notifications for shorts will only go out for subscribers who regularly watch short content. Now, I guess there are some best practices to kind of follow for the short content, which has been established over the counterpart platforms like TikTok and Instagram. Now, you're gonna really want to captivate viewers from the start to keep their attention. And remember that shorts loop, so design your content with replayability in mind. I'm sure you've all seen those clever videos that keep on replaying. Incorporate trending moments, uh, events, and songs to make your content relevant. And you wanna create content that educates, entertains, or leaves a positive impact on your viewers. So if you do start to navigate towards clickbait material, then you're not gonna grow your audience, so to speak. All right, guys, I've been Lewis with Fidevo. I hope you've enjoyed this one. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. YouTube Shorts. It's not a new platform, but it certainly is growing in its infancy stage right now. And if you do have some older content or perhaps some videos that you find just don't work as a three to four minute cinematic vignette, then perhaps a 60 second short may find a better use for it. Catch you next time.